everybody and welcome to Sports Number Cotter Light One. It's official, folks. The National High School Basketball Championship is underway. Megan Shepard was at the St. George's Gym this morning for the historic opening of this event. It's an historic day for basketball in the country, and it's all happening right here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. 25 teams, both male and female, will be competing over the weekend to finally see who is the best of the best in the entire country. And it's all happening at the first ever Bahamas High School National Basketball Championships. Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie sharing a special message of the importance of teamwork and nation building. He says basketball is a tool that can create togetherness. We got some young men and young women from different schools in different parts of the Commonwealth, but they have all come here for a championship. A team will win. All the others will come second, third, fourth, fifth, they will have participated. But when they leave here, they leave with a common experience. Prime Minister Christie also telling the athletes they must believe in themselves, they can and will be as great as they dream to be. The pursuit of developing your talent, you will determine how really good you are on some of you will have a career made for you from sports. Minister of Education, Science and Technology, the Honorable Jerome Fitzgerald, stressing the importance of education. He says that the key to success is preparation and a good attitude. You cannot discount education, academic excellence. Athletic excellence, excellence, yes, is important. But in order to achieve your objective, you must make sure that academic excellence is at the forefront, particularly if you want to go to a Division I school. The official opening ceremony was filled with performances by several school students and, of course, a healthy dose of rivalry. Megan Shepard, S, Total Sports. Other minutes for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darvel was all smiles this morning, folks. The first national high school tournament is being held right here on Grand Bahama. Ladies and gentlemen and students, I am certain that this annual event will be a complete success and create opportunities for our young people to develop their skills and talents in the spirit of healthy competition. I wish to thank the director of the tournament, Mr. Norris Bain, who has an unquestionable passion for young development and youth growth and development and the advancement of young people through character building and sponsorship. I also wish to thank the organizers uh, who've made this event a magnificent success and uh, for hosting it for the first time here on the island of Grand Bahama. Well, I'm Minister Torres, the Honorable Lobby Welshcombe embraced the opportunity to determine the number one basketball team in the country and it's all been done right here at home. And so the dream is to see in Nagwa Tabimini all the teams from around the country come together and play for that national championship. And the time could not be better because we have now individuals who sit in government who understand the import of sport, knowing full well that if you play on a team, you learn how to be a part of a team, a part of a community. You learn how to work together, you learn how to win and you learn how to lose together. Well, over at the Jack Hibbert gym just a while ago, the girls started the ball bouncing, and that is Doris Johnson defeating Mary Star 43 to 25. And on quarter of the St. George's gym, C.I. Gibson got off to one of those start to defeat Jack Hibbert 54 to 44. We're also live from the St. George's gym, 8 p.m. on 8, 10 a.m. here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And we'll be at Jack Hibbert tomorrow if you want to find out what happened today. Well, the Falcons Boys Club, local government for West Grand Bahama Universal Household of Faith, all joining forces, folks. Each month uh, out of the year, from June through uh, the end of the summer, they're hosting a basketball tournament throughout the Igmar Rock community. And the game of basketball has been used as that tool to encourage the young men to be productive citizens in their community. The Falcons Club uh, president, that's Darren Roll, expects a whole lot of growth from the program. 
all is not lost with our young boys. You know, in spite of all the negative you see with our young boys, we want the Bahamian people to know that all is not lost. And the Falcons Boys Club, who's been around for the past 19 years, mentoring boys here on the island of Grand Bahama on Saturdays free of charge, do believe that we have made a positive impact in the lives of young men. We have young men working in every sphere who are making positive contributions to the island of Grand Bahama and the Bahamas and large and indeed around the world. Well, Bishop Ricardo, Grand University in La Soul of Faith and his team gave out Bibles to the young men and they were greatly appreciated. We're partnering with them in this particular initiative as we are in the West, both in the West, with our initiatives and, and ensuring that we uh, network together, that we uh, reach not only the young people but reach our citizens here in the 8 Mile Rock area. I brought my Bible campaign once again is, is pushing to ensure that we get Bibles in the hands of our young people, Bibles in the hands of all of our citizens, those who don't own a Bible, have never owned a Bible, and ensuring that they have, uh, you know, the Holy Scripture in hand. And just a while ago, Virginia, Texas lost to Baylor and uh, at the Sky 12. And also, we know that Buddy Hill, those are going to be playing uh, Iowa State later on tonight. It's about 9 o'clock. I'll be watching it on my phone from the gym, okay? I had to look at sports tonight.